Well, hello now. My name is Mama Me. Now, I ain't here to give no advice. So I don't want nobody to get it all twisted up now. I'm just here maybe to give up some suggestions or something like that there. Okay? I feel a little bit of deja vu coming on right now. But I'm going to just go with the flow. I'm going to go with the flow. I got a little bit of anxiety, so I might be wiping my face every now and then. Just bear with me. So something happened yesterday. I was in Walmart. And I seen a little girl and her mama shopping. And a little girl was talking on her mama. Mommy, mommy, I want this. I looks over. Mommy, I said, she ain't no more than six or seven. Mommy, I said, I want this. I trying to wonder who was the parent and who was the child. Mama took her phone, put it inside the carriage. They're walking along. Mommy, I want this too. Well, I wasn't trying to be nosy, nothing it just happened in front of my eyes. So I was watching the mother trying to concentrate to buy all the necessities and stuff from the look in the carriage and the food for the house, you know. Well, I seen everything in the carriage. You know, Mama made a little nosy, too. But anyway, the little girl just kept talking on the Mama, saying everything she wanted. And the mother just kept putting it on in the carriage, putting it on in the carriage. Now, one time, did the Mama say, no, you can't have. That there, you can't have that. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just don't know. And I could see the mother getting aggravated. I seen it in her eyes and her face. She was looking like this. Man, just grabbing the phone and putting it in the couch. Every time the girl says something, she just crunched up like. <laughs> Put it in there, the girl. I thought the girl was gonna go. I I thought the lady. I thought the lady, not the girl. I thought the lady was gonna go do some type of exercise. I thought the hair was going going around and stuff like every to me now. I didn't know what's gonna happen. I, I I just I didn't know what's gonna happen. So anyways, Mama May. Whew, I, whew, I didn't know what's what's gonna happen. So anyway, I got to crush my pearls right now. <sighs> Mama me crush her pearls a lot. I got anxiety, very high anxiety. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, when it comes to your child, right, listen to this here. Sometimes a lot of us don't know exactly how to handle our children in situations, okay? And maybe some of us did not grow up in situations where we had a lot, you know? So we come to a point when we have children we want our children to have everything that we did not have. And I get it. I get it. I get it. But check this here out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But in doing that, in doing that, Make sure, make sure 
You teach a child. Listen to me now. Make sure you teach a child how to be grateful. I'm going to say this one more time. Make sure you teach your child how to be grateful. You got to let your child know everything you see, baby. Your kids not have. I can give you everything that you see. And I can give you everything you want. But it's going to be some times when I'm just not going to do that. Okay, baby? But mommy going to give you what you need. I'm going to give you what you need to the best of my ability. Mama going to give you what you need. Okay? And the Lord, the Lord, he going to make sure, he going to make sure, because he said he will be right. He going to make sure you have what you want. He going to make sure. Because you taught him how to be grateful. But I get it. I get it, because maybe you ain't never had a lot, and maybe you did. Hey, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Maybe you did have everything that you wanted. Hmm? Maybe you want the pattern to go on. Maybe you want the cycle to go on. But sometimes, baby, let me tell you something. You might be doing some damage to that child, letting them have everything that they want. Because when they get older, listen to me now. When they get older now, they gonna keep wanting and wanting and wanting what they want. Okay. And they're going to be very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Yeah, it is. Take it from mama and me. We can be disrespectful if we don't give it to them. Don't fight off more than what you can do, mama. You the mama. You the mama. You want to be the proud mama. You work hard for your one. To take care of your own. To take care of your own. Not for your own to be one day, well, mama, I want this. So what, what, how about this here? What if, what if later on mama lose her job? Hmm? Hey, now. We ain't never thought about that one, did we? Hmm? What you gonna do there? How you gonna give them that stuff then? What you gonna do then? Go borrow something from the loan shark? Have the whole family dead up in the spot? God forbid. Lord, God forbid. God forbid, Jesus, God forbid. No. What is gonna be time when you can't provide right at that time? When they want what they want. Cause you know they gonna want it. They don't want to hear no excuses. They don't want to hear no excuses. None whatsoever. Nah. That's what I'm talking about. So what I'm trying to say is, teach a child to be grateful for what he or she got and not for what they don't got. 
or wish they wants to have. Okay? And I'll talk to y'all at a later date, God's willing. Okay? Bye!